Jackson for the cover of the British Vogue July 2020 issue because her superiors see her as a role model. Narquise hails from Mardi Gras in St. Paul. She is a train driver who loves her job. This is our conversation. What does Narquise mean? Where does that mean? It's a, it's a flower, a Spanish flower. Okay. And yeah. So and I think looking up online, it looks like a white daffodil. Mm. Yeah. So. So you're a flower. Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> How were you chosen to get on the British Vogue? I'm excited. Oh <laughs> All, it was all arranged um, through TFL, and um, I believe um, Bo contacted TFL with the idea of what they wanted to do, mm -hmm. and they asked for a female train driver, mm -hmm. and TFL then contacted Arriva Ray London, which is who I work for, and one of the managers called me and said, how would you like to do an interview? So I laughed, and I said, oh, you're going to tell me it's for Vogue magazine, right? And he was like, oh, did someone tell you, <laughs> call you and tell you? I was like, no. He was like, yeah, it's for Vogue. It's like, no, you're, it's, yes, I know you haven't, you're winding me up. And he was like, no, it's seriously for Vogue. And then it sort of sunk in a little bit. And when I believed him, I thought, oh my goodness, my hair, the barbers are shut. I can't get my hair cut. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it all started. So um, the managers at work um, nominated me for the interview. And then it all I, took off. Did you ask why you? Did you ask why you? Were you, were you? Ask why, but I was told. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to want to sound. Um, <laughs> I was told that they see me as a, a role model. Um, I'm very, <laughs> I'm very professional and dedicated to my job, and just my personality. They've always seen something in me, and they thought that I was the first person that came to mind, and they thought I was probably ideal for the interview. So. <laughs> Um, define for us, what is TFL? Explain TFL. You said TFL. Well, Transport for London. Transport for London. Okay. So they, but we, I work for London Overground, which is a river rail, London Overground. Mm -hmm. So we are, okay. yes, yeah. So Miss Exemplary yeah. Worker. <laughs> <laughs> I do try my best. I like to be professional in everything I do, so. Your, you know, photo, your photo is very regal. The photo on, um, on the British Vogue, the way you're standing and the way you have your head. I'm like, go girl. You look so regal. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> I just followed the photographer's directions and, you know. It was, it was an awesome shot. It was an awesome shot. Very much. What does it mean to you? Oh, before I go to that question, describe for me the day that you were going to do the, um, the, photo sh the, the photo shoot and the interview. You said that you, you thought of the barber, you couldn't get your hair done. So how was that rectified? And what was the day of the interview like for you? <laughs> well, it was mainly the, the day of the, the um, photo shoot because I think a week later after speaking to the manager, my details were passed on to the communication manager, Kareen. Um, a week later, the Vogue photographer came to do the photo shoot. Obviously, that morning, I had to sort of, I knew it was happening, so I made a few exceptions. I had my, washed my hair and, you know, made it look as decent as possible. And, um, obviously, there was no hair and makeup, obviously, because of the pandemic so I improvised and I was just I was just buzzing it was, a, it was a beautiful day as well it was really hot so the I guess being on the platform the, the photographs came on really really well we had good lighting and it was so amazing it was just 
the photographer and I with his camera mm -hmm. and he made you, he's so professional and he made me feel so at ease and very comfortable. Mm -hmm. So at one point I really got into it and I was like posing and he was like, yeah, like, let's do that. Yeah, and that actually felt like a model. I was just <laughs> going to say that. <laughs> he was so cool and obviously he's from Vogue. He's, you know, he does this professionally and I actually felt like a model at the end. But at, the po at that point, I had no idea the photograph would have been used as a cover. Mm. It was just a photo shoot to be included in their key workers story article. And even at that on the day, I asked him, are you sure it's going to be used? And, you know, and he said, yes, almost 100% sure it's going to be used. And it's only until probably about I think three weeks later, mm -hmm. I found out it was going to be used as um, one of three covers. Oh, so that, okay, that was like, I was gobsmacked. <laughs> <laughs> so what did family say when you told them? What did your family say? But initially, I couldn't tell anybody. It was oh, sort okay. of, I had to keep it um, a secret. Mm -hmm. And when I eventually told them, they were, they couldn't believe it. They were really, really proud. And they were really happy and yeah, something to look forward to. And yeah, especially my grandmother, she's, she's, she's just over the moon. <laughs> is, she, is, it, is she in London or is she in Grenada? She's actually in West Palm Beach, Florida. Oh, she's in Florida. Oh, okay. So tell me, lady, what does it mean to you to be an important frontline worker, to be on the British Vogue a time like now? What does it mean to you? It means it's it's very important, especially because this is a. I mean, everyone is is going through this pandemic, and to be representing other key workers, because obviously, you know, a lot of focus is the NHS. They are the real heroes, doctors and nurses. Mm -hmm. There are many other roles that. I think before we wouldn't really consider them as key. I understand. I understand. I think now other roles that are essential and key frontline are being recognized for their roles and their contribution in keeping the country moving because it probably before it would have been something you wouldn't even think about, like going to the supermarket or, you know, taking a train to get to your destination. You wouldn't mm -hmm. think of it as, Probably as a, as a, a necessity. Yeah. Yes. What Vogue has done to highlight other key workers as well. It was it was brilliant, and um, it means everything to represent key workers, women drivers as well, and to have real real role models for people to look up to. I think it's it's amazing. So it means a lot, and I feel very um, honored and privileged to have had the opportunity to represent everybody, not just obviously in my industry, but it represent other key workers as well. And again, women and yeah, very inspiring. Have, very you, inspiring. have people been coming up to you? Has anyone recognized you? I had one person so far recognize me. I was standing on the platform in my uniform waiting for my train. And this uh, young lady came off the train and she was like, Oh my God, it's you, isn't it? <laughs> you. I'm like, I'm smiling and I'm like, yeah. She said, you were on the TV, you were on the cover of Vogue. I was like, yes. And she was so, she was so happy and she was thanking oh, me for, you know, for doing what I'm doing. And she was, you know, complimenting on how great the, the cover is and, you know, doing it for, everyone it, she was really really um happy so it was nice <laughs> okay this exemplary train driver celebrity how long have you been driving the train how long have you been a train driver i've been a train driver for five and a half years it'll be mm -hmm. six years in september um it's gone by really quickly i've worked with the company arl for 10 years okay. so and i've been driving five so yeah, it's been... What did you do before? What did you, what did you do before? 
I used to work at the stations before. Mm-hmm. Um, so I used to do like on the gate nine ticket office. Then I did a bit of HR as well with rostering for maybe a year about. And then I decided hmm, maybe I can, I can, I would see the trains every day. And I think, you know what, maybe I can, I can do that. So when the opportunity arose, I applied and here I am five years later. <laughs> wow. What did you want to do when you were a little girl? What did you want to be? <laughs> At first, I used to always wanted to work in the airline industry. Hmm. How far away is that from trains? I don't know. Only to the <laughs> air and the rails. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always used to want to work on the airlines. And then, obviously, as you get older, you know, you, your things change. Mm-hmm. So, um yeah, and then I thought maybe IT, and then I just changed again. And I think this was, I would never, I wouldn't change this at all. This oh was the best. Goodness, this is awesome. But by, by the way, how was the, um, the training for tra- to drive the train? What was that like? It was very intense. Mm. Um, the course is approximately nine months, roughly. A mixture of classroom and um, driving as well. Um, it's quite intense and at the end you have like a week you have to put everything that you have learned over nine months in five days so yeah so it's um but again it comes down to you just have to be focused you have to be Put the work in as well. You really have to put the work in because at the end, you don't want to do all this and then at the end you fail. So it's very important to just keep on top of everything. And yeah, it will. How long is the shift for you? How long is the shift for you? On average, eight hours. Eight on hours average. going yeah. from, okay, so where do you start and where do you end your shift? So I'm based on Bruce and Junction at my depot. So you would come in in the morning and you book on. So you, even though the shift is at approximately eight, roughly eight and a half sometimes, depending on the day, because obviously it's all about times. Mm-hmm. You, work, you work to schedule. So it could be eight hours, eight and a half hours. So you come in and the day it allows for your booking on time, your, your break. Um, so you have probably... On the first half of my shift, I would drive for about three to four hours break, and then maybe three to four hours or two to three hours, depending on the length of the diagram. So okay. it depends. Every shift is different. Every diagram is different. So um, it depends. So mm-hmm. yeah. And how, and how much does a uh, approximately how much does a, a train driver make? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be uh, uh, just asking. I might just want to drive a train, girl. <laughs> I can give a, a rough figure. Yes, uh, approximately. For just probably about 50, maybe 60, 50 grand. A year? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, look out for me. Is there an age? <laughs> is there an age? Um... <laughs> no, there's no age. No, 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 no. Okay. When, when, the, when, when, when the borders open up, I'll be flying yes. myself over. <laughs> One more women drivers, so yeah. <laughs> okay, girl. I remember um, the name Narquise often being called in SJC. Oh my! I, I would hear Narquise. Uh, was was Hospital always your last name? Yes. Yes. I remember Narquise. The name Narquise because it's very different, and I would yes. hear over the um over the system. Nurkis Hospital, please, please uh, <laughs> to the office. <laughs> okay, you have to worry now. <laughs> what was your experience at SJC like? Um, do you, would you say that it prepared you for this role and this life that you have taken up? Exemplary train driver. <laughs> Exemplary. <laughs> Wow, that's a good question. Of course it has. Um, Because obviously, you know, SJC is the best. (laughs) I have to say that. Um, There might be a few people who would probably disagree, but um, 
you know, we were the best school. And of course, the values that they, they taught us there, you know, it's, 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 it, it, it did help shape. And obviously, from my upbringing as well, with my, how my granny has raised me as well, that has, you know, helped a lot. And I don't think, obviously, being the person I am today, I wouldn't be without, you know, her and the way she, you know, the stuff that she instilled in me. In you, yes. And obviously, going to schools and, you know, conference was the best. And they were, you know, they were really pushing us. They were, we had great teachers. We had, you know, so it, it did help a lot to... Where I am today. The exemplary train driver that you are today. Nakis asked, <laughs> tell me, <laughs> um, what would you say to someone, a young girl who wants to fly a plane as a pilot or drive a train? You know, um, what do you say to that young girl out there? I would say, f- whatever you want to do follow your dreams even if there may be obstacles um but there will always be obstacles but i would always say follow your dreams don't give up and just keep working hard okay um I am so proud of you. You have no idea. When I saw that video, when I saw that, that picture, I was like, I need to find her. How do I get her? And then I was told you're not on any social media. Well, is that by choice? Yes. So I don't do social media that much. No, I'm not <laughs> on any social media. But now I'll have to, you'll have to send me a copy of this video so I can see it. Well, you'd have to send me your email. So, you know. Yeah, so I can um, see yeah. what's been yeah <laughs> and you you look the same what do you do girl do you work out no <laughs> i guess it's look, genetics it's in the genes in common i used to be an athlete remember yes so i remember just, that i remember that and my name on the intercom not for anything else <laughs> yes, was a good girl yeah, <laughs> exemplary work um train driver well i would like to say thank you to everyone who has sent such lovely wishes my way and to even I had old pe- from old um, classmates who reached out to me and it was really nice and it's really nice to represent I'm from Grenada and it's great that you know everyone back home because I heard on the news as well I made the news there yeah, on two okay yeah yeah Everybody's talking about it so um I just want to say thank you to everyone and I'm really, really proud of this achievement and I've done my family proud, my friends, my colleagues, management and of course Grenada proud. So thank you to everyone and yeah.